Shalom, shalom, shalom. Peace and greetings, family. Once again, it's your brother, Ezra Ben Kazar, here to talk about some more Kazarian history, uh, genetics, and everything else in between. I hope you enjoyed the Magyar video. Take that, absorb it, digest it. And you know, that way you'll understand where Arthur Kostler was getting at in his book, The 13th Tribe. And you'll also understand history of a people over here in the Western world. Uh, Hebrew Israelites really don't know about uh, Hungarians and, and Khazars and Hungarian history and such. Um, so in order to improve the literacy rate of everyone, let's get the facts out and let's get them out straight. Which is also why we're making today's video. One of the main purposes of my channel is to talk about Khazarian uh, connections to Ashkenazi Jews, but in the most factual way possible. So we've already covered how Ashkenazi Jews come from uh, Levantine populations mixed with Italians um, and mixed in with, with uh, various other peoples. The Khazars, who on this channel we believe were one of the first uh, Jews in the Eastern European uh, Jewish communities, would have been absorbed by the incoming German Jews, who we've done a video on their origins. Today we will look at some mtDNA lines that could be remnants of the women of the ancient Khazarian cognate. Some of these lines may have been preserved in a very, very small amount of Ashkenazi Jews. So if you have these groups, that's pretty uh, special to, uh, to still have that. But before we get into the Khazarian lineages, we'll talk about the general lineages of uh, Ashkenazi Jews on the female side. My main source will be the brother Kevin Allen Brooks book, The Maternal Genetic Lineages of Ashkenazi Jews. One of the most common maternal lineages among the Ashkenazim is K1A1, B1A. It is by far the most common, and it was also present in medieval Jews of the Rhineland and Germany, making it a part of the ethnogenesis of the Ashkenazi Jews. So this, one of the main maternal lineages, this is um, a part about maybe 37.5% in Ashkenazi Jews uh, from Germany, Switzerland and the Netherlands. It was also found in four members of the Jewish community all the way in Cochin, India. So this is found in Indian Jews, Sephardic Jews, and German Jews, as well as the ancient German Jews. Some people, uh, geneticists, have said that perhaps this originated in Southern or Western Europe. And maybe that would explain uh, the mixture of the Ashkenazi Jews, the 50% from the Israelites and then the 50% from the uh, Southwest Europeans. Since we talked about one of the possible converted, uh, converted woman uh, lineages, this is a lineage that I believe were uh, an original uh, Israelite lineage, and it is a part of the mtDNA haplogroup L2A1. This group is L2A1, L2A, and is found in a considerable number of Ashkenazim in many different places. And it was also probably present in the medieval Jews of the Rhineland in Germany. So we looked at two original Ashkenazi Jewish haplotypes, one from possible Southwest um, Italians, and then one from possible uh, Israelites from the Middle East. It is found in Ashkenazis from Germany, Austria, Netherlands, France, Czechia, Lithuania, Latvia, Belarus, Ukraine, Hungary, Romania, and especially Poland. It also exists among uh, regular Polish people who may descend from Ashkenazi Jews who converted to Catholicism in the mid 18th century. Now, if you also seen any of my past videos, you know that one of the things that we uh, like to 
uh, inform people on is the Israelite Jewish connections to West Africa, where I am a, a West African Jew as well. Um, my ancestors may have been European Jews, but they mixed into the African American population, and I'm African American today. But I still believe uh, African Americans are uh, ancient Semites and ancient Israelites. Maybe we can go into that thing, those uh, topics deeper. But um, for now, let's talk about this Habla Group L2A1. It's found in customers and family tree DNA, tracing their matching lines to places like Portugal, Morocco, and Guinea-Bissau. Um, Doran Bihar's team collected a sample from a Mandinka person that is assigned to L2A1 uh, L2. And is also found in three Gambian people and someone of Fula ethnicity. It was also found in two people from Burkina Faso of the Pana ethnicity. So we see the sub-Saharan origins of the L2A1 family of Havla groups, showing that, as we've been saying, there is some sub-Saharan African origins with Ashkenazi Jews in general. There are even some Ethiopian Jews who belong to the distantly related Havla group L2A1 V2. All right, now for the part that everyone's been waiting for. The Khazarian lines in Jews. The first line that we will speak on is the mtDNA N9A3, which I've shown this migration map uh, plenty of times on this channel and some other videos uh, showing that the Khazars got mixed into the Ashkenazi Jews. N9A3 is an East Asian mtDNA and is found in low frequency among the Eastern Ashkenazim from Lithuania, Belarus, Ukraine, Hungary, and Northeast Poland. And it was not found or would not have been found in the medieval German Jews, though I believe there was one Erfurt sample with N9A3. I have to double check that. The Ashkenazi who had this N9A3, he matches three non-Jews, one English person, one Chechen person, and one Chinese person. This may be connected to the Silk Road. But this capital group, N9A3, is also found in Koreans, Buryats from South Siberia, uh, Uyghurs, and Uzbek people. And it's also found in people from Central and Eastern Europe, such as Russians, uh, West Russians and uh, Czech Czechian people from West Bohemia. It was found in Boscare people from Boscortizan. And last but not least, it was found in ancient times in two Sarmatians who lived in the classical era and one medieval era, Hungary, soon after the Magyar conquest of the Carpathian Basin. We, also, we already know that Sarmatians and Magyars are a part of the same people, and they both migrated into Hungary from the lands of the east. It was also found in the ancient female member of the Zhongnu, the Huns, of the eastern Eurasian steppe lands. Most scholars agree at, at this point that the Jewish N9A3 was either a Chinese, North Caucasian, or a Khazarian convert to Judaism but all clues are hinting to a Khazarian, Kabarian line. So this is interesting to see. And I believe this is about 2% of Ashkenazi Jews. So if you have this line, that is, that's very rare and awesome. So shout out to my fellow uh, Khazarians. <laughs> Another line that may be Khazarian or maybe possibly just East Asian is M33C, M33C. It is another East Asian lineage that is found in Chinese people. And it joined the Eastern Ashkenazi community during the Middle Ages, no later than the year 1375. So this was around the time of the, uh, the Mongols. So maybe when the Khazarian kingdom fell to the Rus and got scattered into the Rus, 
and then the Mongols came. Perhaps this uh, lineage was saved by joining the Jewish community. And the last line that I'll talk about is A1223. It's also known as A12A or A A1A. A1B. And also has another long name. I'm not sure why this Havla group has such a complicated name. <laughs> and this is the last of the three Ashkenazi match lines with an East Asian origin. It is found um, in Mongolians, Japanese people, Han Chinese, Tibetans, uh, Siberians, Mansi people, Volga Tartars, Tajiks. And the matrilineal ancestors uh, of this line, the people, the Jews who had this line, their ancestors had ties to Poland, Romania, Hungary, Austria, Russia, and Uzbekistan. This one is one of the more clearer and defined um, Magyar Khazar lineages, in my opinion. Jeffrey C. had wrote that his matriline is Hungarian Jewish. And he was assigned to A-A1B3 and was found in ethnic Turkmen from Samarkand and Uzbekistan who tested with y 4 A-12A2 is also found in ancient Russia and modern Hungary. The subclad A-12B is found in Buryats in Russia and was in the medieval Hungarian Empire. It was also found in Uyghurs from Xinjiang. And we all know that Uyghurs were the firstborn of Togomor. And according to Jeffrey C., the first, and if, if that assignment from Jeffrey C. is correct and accurate, the first Jewish A mtDNA was more than likely Khazarian or possibly Kabarian Jewish. With that said, I want to go into some papers to share with you. This first paper we have here is called High Coverage Mitogenomes and Why Chromosomal Typing Reveal Ancient Lineages in the Modern Day CK Population in Romania. First, we read that the CKs are a Hungarian speaking minority that has been living in Transylvania in Romania for more than 800 years. If you want to know more about this people, please check out the video I've last uploaded. Several theories have been elaborated about the origin of the CKs over time, which is still an unresolved question to this day. In the video that I uploaded, I came to the conclusion that they are the Kabars mixed with the original Huns. It says they have been identified as descendants of migrational period Hunnic, Avar, and later arrived Kabar, Volga Bulgarian, Onogur, and Hungarian ethnic groups. The story of their European Hunnic origin was elaborated by medieval Hungarian chroniclers, who, by doing so, increased the authority of the Arpad dynasty and created the legal basis for the Hungarian conquest. So we see in this paper of the CK people, our data set comprised six samples classified into the Y chromosome R1A1, A1, B1, A2. R1AZ280 haplotype, which we visualize on median joining network for comparison. We collected YSCR data from the Family Tree YDNA database R1A page, and we filtered the samples for Y4459 SNP based on nevgen.org prediction. In addition, we included data from the same haplogroup classification from Hungary, uh, Bolt Rogolts, and early medieval Volga Euro region which may have been a settlement area of Hungarians who remained in the east after the westward migration of the other Hungarian tribes. On the network, individuals from the Bogoros region, Russia, Germany, and Poland can be found near the CKs. So we see a, a media network here showing different groups who share the same matrilineal lineages as the CKs, the R1AZ280. The same lineage that my Jewish ancestor had, which is why I believe he could be Khazarian. We also have in the CK population the A12A, as we see here. 
It says here that we assume that the phylogenetic lineage A12A came from the Volga region and was also present at the time of the Hungarian conquest in the late 9th to 10th century. The newly reported samples within the A12A subgroup caused some changes in the nomenclature within the A12A tree that we present in the supplementary information. The CK sample described here has been ordered to a new subgroup named A12A2B. So we see here that the CK people are a part of the A12A group, the same group found in Ashkenazi Jews, showing more Khazarian connections. This is all very interesting to see. Let's read another part of this paper. In this new CK data set, the discovery of an Asian matrilineal lineage, A12A, completely identical to that found in a male with the typical Hungarian conqueror artifacts from the 10th century cemetery in Harta, Hungary, and in the early Hungarian cemetery of Boshi Tigani in the Volga region, is a robust sign that some lineages in the CK population are shared with Hungarian conquerors and are thus most probably of common origin. Very powerful information. And that's pretty much all that I have to cover for today. As we see, some Khazarians survived as Jews within the Ashkenazi population. Uh, perhaps somebody in the future, perhaps Kevin Allen Brook, will take upon him the task of looking into any Jews uh, in their R1A Z280 lineages and their autosomal to see if that could be a Khazarian male lineage. But until those studies are made, we'll keep looking at other things. Shalom, grace and peace. Like, comment and subscribe. And uh, hope you like the video. Till next time. Peace. Shalom. Thanks for checking us out.